You know, it's like, what is going on here? This is the last, the last year has been like the year of death for all these entertainers, major entertainers. Well, I don't, you know what, and Danny, the, the th I think the part we, we have to admit is that, you know, we just look at it differently at the time that we're in. It may look like it's a lot of it happening, but you know, really we are living longer. It just happened to be folks around that we grew up with, and these are things that are happening. And my, my first thing is to go out at and say family, 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 much love. It's such a young age, a young man. I mean, well, who didn't have wow. that CD, Jasmine Taz? That that that's like a, a staple. That's like a hip hop. Let me tell you something, staple. you guys. Yeah. I was that's I was so cool. impressed even with the concept of Jasmine Taz yes. that I named my second album oh. Jasmine yeah. Taz, spelled yeah. differently. Yeah. But you know, right around the same time, and and Guru, just what he brings in terms of his flow, his his his, his, his vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't realize how the years, you know, how the years just roll through. And, and, you know, we all think everybody lives forever, especially with those who we admired and cheered for. Because when they go, it, it, it makes you stop for a moment. So let me tell you something about what I'm, I'm reading here so far. He's really been sick for over a year. Now, people would really know Guru because he was so uh, instrumental in bringing to the forefront a lot of the uh, European hip-hop artists. I mean, he's, he, he specifically exposed me to DJ Solar and a bunch of the hip-hop community from uh, France and Paris. Yeah. And hung out also with uh, Donald Byrd, who was artist-in-residence at Howard University when I was there. Oh. But uh, Donald Byrd and the Black really did it, yeah, on that first, Donald Byrd was such a presence with him on that first project. But he was the lead lead singer, lead rapper for the hip-hop duo Gangstar. And he had had a long battle with cancer. Yeah. He was 43 years old, and he's been dealing with it for over a year. Numerous treatments, numerous treatments. In fact, he had a cardiac arrest on March 2nd and had briefly been in a coma. That's unbelievable. Man. Got a picture of, of, of Guru right here for you guys. Uh, boy, 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 boy. Yeah, no. Just more, and then, and even on the way out, I guess there were some beefs with some other people that are going on now in his death. Yeah. That there, some of the DJs that work with him, they're coming through. Uh, yeah, to to do that, and so uh, wow. Yeah. So we want to say that. Uh, I regard to his family, rapper Guru, dead at forty three. Hmm. Okay. Wow. All right, you guys. So what other things have been going on today? Well, for one, let's talk about some of the topics we're, we have today. We have a bunch of entertainment topics. One, um, Reggie Bush and Kanye. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about uh, Kim Kardashian. Well, everybody's going nude. Yes. There's a bunch of nude things, and we're going to have to try to pull up some of these. But Kim Kardashian went, is going nude. Um, what you say? Nudity and you know, seeing these, these young actresses, you know, um, I think that they're all coming out of their shell, you know what I mean? And they're, they're beautiful, so why not? Well, they are. So, we're going to talk about that because there's a bunch of nude people coming out. <laughs> so, we're going to show you Kim Kardashian goes nude, uh, uh, which is a nice picture. We also have another one that's coming new. Who is my other nude friend? Uh, Regina Hall. You guys, Regina Hall went nude for Allure magazine. So we got a bunch of new, and we also got a bunch of celebrity fighting things today. Oh, for, Joy Bryant picture too. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about Basketball Wives, the new uh, reality show. Uh, boy, Basketball Wives is all in the news, you guys, because for one, Dwight Howard's baby mama making a fool of herself, oh. at a, and, she spoke, and she's one of the Basketball Wives. Plus, there's this whole issue with Shaq and Shawnee. Oh. Shawnee uh, supposedly headed to be part of the Basketball Wives uh, routine, and that's uh, causing some real problems, according to TMZ. You know, it's a bitter, bitter thing going on between Shawnee and Shaq in the public. Mm -hmm. uh, Oprah, uh, there's been some response to Kitty Kelly's book. She, uh, some of the friends of Oprah are coming out, are speaking out against that book. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Of course, updates on the European volcano. You know about that with a European volcano and the ash cloud. Can't say the name, huh? I have the <laughs> name here. Where was the name? the name? I had that. It Damn it, I threw it. I threw it out. Volcano. <laughs> I forgot. I threw it out how to say the name. And she just loves it. Boy, I'm, so you guys, that's we can get the chat room to write in for that. Oh, also, too, can I mention this as well? Mm -hmm. Morning headlines as well. 
It's on Tina Marie fans and Tina Marie's street team and the Pack Stereo street team. Today is the official day that we go after the Hollywood Walk of Fame nomination and getting in all the documents to submit Tina Marie's name for the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The fans are going to try to get her star. Hopefully we can do it. We have to have everything ready by May 31st. It's just the documents that we have to do, which I got all that. So the bottom line is I'm going to need everybody's support. Pack Stereo, Street Team, Tina Marie Street Team, um, all of our social presences um, because we're going to need to raise $25,000. So I guess we'll be hearing all yeah, about that too. We're going to be hearing about it. So I just wanted to say thank you. We've had overwhelming responses since the... Um, the notices and uh, the promos went out yesterday. Overwhelming response on Twitter, on Facebook, friend feed, uh, even tweet, tweet pics. You know, we have an amazing community. So I will, I will keep you posted on what all of us are going to need to do, as well as we will be having a marketing meeting on Tina, official Tina Marie TV. So just all right. you know. So we'll get back to that story. <laughs> yes, we continue introducing the stories. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's like having your intros segue. <laughs> there you go. Go on, man. Oh, wow. Now, okay. where was I? <laughs> let's see. Who knows? So let's just figure it out. We'll go to a video. Yeah, I like red that. Hot, red hot, red hot. Nice little red. promo, man. I like that. Thanks to Animoto, we're getting more of these commercials, and all that music and stuff is provided royalty free. Mm. That way, they <laughs> won't have that excuse to snatch us off. But uh, who knows? All right, now you guys have been hearing the volcano. The volcanic eruption has continued. Uh, boy, they were just showing some updates this morning about some of the local uh, farmers and stuff in the area. Yeah. And they really are living in a cloud of darkness, really blocking out the sun. Wow, wow. You know, if you ever wonder what it really is like to experience something like this, you got to turn on the news and Discovery Channel, you guys, and see how incredible expanse of this process is. This is right. a volcano whose cloud has reached all the way over to cover Europe, yep. affecting flights. And until today, uh, really, uh, pretty much all the flights have been uh, canceled in the area. Only 4,000 out of 20,000 flights are actually going through. So now, according to this morning, they got some more flights going through. But still not even half, you guys, not even half of the flights. Um, How would you feel about, they say it's all clear now, where well, you can get on the plane. Would you be one of the first group? Hell no. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, I always said that when they have the same thing happens when they tell you after the big rains, they say, uh, here in Los Angeles, because the storm drains get full of water, they they tell you you can't go into the water at the ocean because all the sewage is so overloaded. Into they say, well, 